You remember the Scholastic Book Fair, always adorable, very, very cute, kind of a staple of your childhood. And of course, Republicans now hate it uh, because they hate books. This is what they're trying to do. Uh, Scholastic is saying that it is very difficult now to have their book fairs given the number of book bans uh, around the country. Um, and it's making them uh, what they call an impossible dilemma, giving them an impossible dilemma. And in response, however, they're, do, they're doing something a little different. And pretty controversial in response to a slew of the laws and policies in Republican controlled states banning specific kinds of books or restricting access to them from school libraries and classrooms. Scholastic announced it's made a separate section in its catalog for works dealing with race, gender, and sexuality at elementary school book fairs. So, in other words, I mean, we don't, they are basically creating a book ghetto, they're creating a segregation. They're segregating their books, people. Uh, they have a new section that's called Share Every Story, Celebrate Every Voice. It's got 60 different titles, including a biography on Supreme Court Justice Ketanji Brown Jackson, and a book focusing on the late Georgia Congressman and civil rights icon John Lewis. You know, woke stuff. Um, this is what they said in a statement. They said there is now enacted or pending legislation in more than 30 US states prohibiting certain kinds of books from being in schools. Mostly LGBTQIA plus titles and books that engage with the presence of racism in our country. Because scholastic book fairs are invited to schools where books can be purchased by kids on their own. These laws create an almost impossible dilemma. Back away from these titles or risk making teachers, librarians, and volunteers vulnerable to being fired, sued, or prosecuted. Um, however, they're, this is what they're doing. And they said, look, we don't pretend the solution is perfect, but the other option would be to not offer these books at all, which is something we'd consider, is not something we consider. All children need to see themselves in these stories, and it is extremely upsetting to consider a world in which they don't. So basically, you can opt in and you can opt out um, of having this particular section in your book fair. Um, Senator, I gave you my thoughts. It sounds like segregation, but for books. Um, but what do you think? Is this this workaround? Is that complicit in some way in these bans, or you know, or they risk not even not even having a book fair? Yeah, I mean, scholastic spokesperson. I mean, they make a really good point. Or the people who are uh, over the the book fair itself. Tactically, I'm still. I know I've been on tactical stuff all show. Yeah. But from yeah, tactically. I think this makes a lot of sense given that their backs are all the way against the wall with this nonsense with this the GOP uh, witch, witch hunt, warlock hunt, if you will, against books. <laughs> These people are cowards in every 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 sense of the, the imagination. They're just cowards. And to ban books in this way makes no sense. Parents have a say in what their children are exposed to. So don't let the GOP, they out there saber rattling on that. And these books are age appropriate. And what really gets me the most, Francesca, is the fact that they want to try to sanitize the history of this country, especially when it comes to what happened to African Americans or uh, American descendants of slaves in this country and just, just whitewash it completely and just yeah. make it seem like what DeSantis said. Oh, the slaves, oh, they learned such great skills that they could take with them uh, if they ever saw freedom, which too many of them never did. And let me remind folks that enslaved Africans came or were forced to come to this country. They had skills before they were forced on those ships. Let me just put that out there. Yeah. But all the things that they're doing to try to hurt children, to hurt imagination, to hurt uh, being an informed and educated citizen. And they're fear mongering, Francesca, that's all they're doing. Nobody, I mean, I certainly don't wanna see children reading age inappropriate books. That's not the argument. We want to argue that. Let's have an argument. But the fact that they are scaring like organizations like Scholastic, uh, Scholastics and mm -hmm. also the fear. They, they brought up some several very good points about putting teachers and librarians and others in harm's way yeah. of losing their jobs. Yeah, no. And in this is all in service of uh, making uh, people and children more malleable, 
um, and more obedient and learning less uh, to say nothing of it racing history. Of course, Florida mm. has the it leads in the number of book bans throughout their school system. And Florida had the biggest problem with this move, even though Scholastic did it to please them. Um, yeah. The Department of Education had basically called it a political stunt. No, dude, they're doing it to save you guys. They're doing it so your kids at least still have access to this fair. Oh. And Francis, do you kind of make one more point? Is this the yeah. party that purports itself to be pro freedom and less government? I'm mean, just asking, I'm asking for a friend. Right. Ask for that friend. Mm -hmm. We'll 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 wait for the answer. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.